Hey guys, morning, what's up? Today we're doing fried dumplings, corned beef, and bush tea. Stick around for the process, peeps. Welcome back to the Maine's Family Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Caribbean style fry dumplings or like they call it in some islands Johnny Cakes and hubby is going to be making corned beef. We're going to have corned beef and fry dumplings breakfast. So sit back, relax, watch the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe and please hit the notification bell so that you would be informed when we have a new video. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. So I have here about two cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna go in with a loaded teaspoon, a tablespoon, I'm sorry, of baking powder. Put that in there. Then I'm gonna go with a pinch of salt. And this is what I do, I'm sorry. I don't know about measure, 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 no. There we go, some salt. Let's put a little bit more. And you know I wash my hands, so. I'm gonna go in with about a quarter of the stick of butter. Just mix this around so that the, the baking powder can get incorporated evenly throughout the flour. Then I want to put in a little sugar. And I only use brown sugar, but you could use white sugar, whatever your preference is, that's fine. Here we go, just a loaded tablespoon again. A little bit more for the taste. So there you have it. We have our salt, flour, baking powder, and butter. And we're not making pastry, so it doesn't have to be all crumbly and get rid of those. That Put this up. And I have some room temperature water and this is what I'm going to be doing to fold my dough in just a little at a time your dough together Just a little bit more there we go and you start out making it like more over wet if that's such a thing because you don't want it to be hard and tough. So knead it soft first. You can always add some flour. So here you have it. And just take the back of your, and knead that dough in. Okay. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit more flour and get this together. And I'll be right back with you. So guys, we're back. And I have transferred my dough to a clean surface. Make sure, sanitize, wipe, make sure your surface is clean. And I'm just bringing it in all together 
We'll dust a little bit more flour. Here we go. Okay, I think this is about enough. But we're just gonna let it sit here and then I'm gonna show you how I cut it out and how I form it into the dumpling. We'll be right back. Now I'm getting ready to do my beef. Everybody does beef different, but hey, I'll give you an insight of my beef. We're gonna go in with scallions, sweet peppers, onion, thyme, whole leap of tomato paste, <laughs> and your beef. Stick around for the process. Now we're gonna start this process. This one they name in dialect. This one they name fat dung salt um beef, not selfish. I'm so close to the selfish. Anyway, level. Whee! Yep. We're gonna start on your onions. Turn up the fire like a bit more. You wanna get your onions to be kind of translucent, you know what I mean? Cooked out. Yes, come in clean, let me table. Nice and easy, we're gonna put in our peppers. Scallion, or better known as Saiva, Saiva and Thyme. And here goes the Thyme, yeah. And just let that break down, let it get nice and translucent before you add the tomato paste. Yeah, it looks so good already. Like he's already rolled her dumplings over there. We're gonna go back to her in a minute. So I'll have to lift this up. Oh yeah. Guys, we got so much rain last night. You should see the garden. Shit. Everything just kind of popped up. Thank God for the rain, man. We needed it. I'm putting a little garlic powder. Because I love garlic and everything. And black pepper. I love so much black pepper I added before and after. You know how it goes. Yes. Woo. It smells. If you could smell this, see? Hi. Now guys, I'm gonna go in with, we call this, teaspoon of tomato paste. I'm gonna use two, because I love a lot of tomato paste. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yes. Yeah, guys, so just work this in, and then we're just gonna add just a little, little, little water, you know, to help the tomato paste break down. Oh, lot now we jump out. Then the next, next to God, the next thing. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Coming along nicely. Now we're going to add some water just to break down the tomato paste, as I said before. Right. All who remember this, like waking up on Sunday mornings and your grandparents in the kitchen making salt fish, beef. Oh my God. I remember my grandma on my mom's side when she used to make this thing. Oh my god, grease around all your hands when they done the breakfast. What a woman loves to grease. 
turn it down. I'm going to add my corned beef. Yes. Bully beef. Lifesaver. Yes. And with this now, you just fold it in. Not beating it up, not getting too mushy. Just fold it in. Nice low fire. So I gotta add more black pepper. I love this thing. Add some more garlic. Yeah, let's incorporate it in. Beef is so easy to do, right? Especially this style. Yep, and that's basically how it is. Nice and fresh, right, peeps? All right, so we'll go back to my wife now and let's start doing these dumplings. See you soon. Hey guys, here we go now. So, I've turned, oops, that one, we'll turn it back around again. So here we have it. We uh frying our dumplings and I could put another one in so let's do that maybe two more we'll see a small one and this is the color that I like my dumplings to be not too brown I hope you're enjoying the process so far and maybe you could try it at home but if you choose not to don't forget we cater whatever your event may be your brunch church breakfast prayer breakfast I should say um, we're available for catering okay so I don't like to see my dumplings with white edges so what I do is once both sides are golden brown the way I want them to be I flip them and I put them to the side of the pan so that the um, you know the edges can get color as well and also it really helps in the cooking process because Sometimes something is brown doesn't necessarily mean that it's cooked. So you just got to make sure that that thing is cooked through. You don't want to eat no raw dough. So there we go. We, as, as we flip to the sides, we can add more to the pan. And this is the ticklish part of frying dumpling. A lot of people think frying dumpling is just, oh, I just need the dumpling right now. If you really want to have good dumpling, it's, it's, it's a kind of tedious process. You got to watch them. You can't walk away, go answer a phone call. No. You're going to burn your dumpling. Oops. My husband claims that I'm afraid of fire. I'm not afraid of fire. I just don't want to get burned. There's nothing wrong with that, right? So, oops, this one is a little too brown, but it's okay. And the key thing is to always make sure that your temperature is right. See? Roll this over, and when one side, one edge is, is colored, then you can flip it to the other side. Yeah, just rotating so that all of it gets covered correctly. Trust me, they're good. This is one of my specialties, frying dumplings. I learned that from my mother. May her soul rest in peace. Oops. No 
don't be afraid of the oil I mean I use my fork too but I use my fingers as well because it helps you can get another one in there and you just follow the process until you're done frying everything and we will be back so you could see the finished products. See you later. We're done. Breakfast is finished and I wanna show you the finished product. Here we go. Breakfast, Caribbean style, the Mains family kitchen. And please remember, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Please tell a friend. We're trying to get to 300 subscribers by the end of the summer. And remember I told you I have a little surprise for you? Here you have it, fresh from our garden. Here's my mint and, what do you call this one? Fevergrass. Fevergrass <laughs> tea, bush tea, and Caribbean breakfast. Can't get no better than that. In Connecticut, impossible. But we did it, straight from the garden. Thanks guys, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Thank you.